All right, boys. We had a uh, cold, rainy, wet, nasty day, but uh, we managed to eke out this bag. It weighs 1684. 1684, and uh, here's how we caught them. He followed it all the you see what I said this is going on? Yeah. Oh. Good one. Look at him, he can't even get up out of the water. So fat folks, he can't even get up out of the water. And I'm talking about the fish. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't that fat. He, huh? just, he ain't that fat, he just can't get out of the water. Lazy fish. He done laid around love shacking all night long. Love shacking. <coughs> Right there? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Got him? Got him? Yeah. Good one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, what are you thinking? I know where they live, son. You got him? With our small? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's he got down in his gullet? It looks oh. like he built something black. Oh no, it's leaves. leaves. Okay. Last time he jumped, I saw a black. Is this? I just hope it don't have a lizard in its belly already. Or in its throat. Just a You can go around. That's a good fish. You want me to lip them? You got it? I just want to get it on the camera. Yeah, see what you're out of. Bring it up like KBD bull.
Fish over here need them. Let's just go back. Look at that deep throat hanging out of its jaw. Look how fast. Alright, well, we're back from the lake. Got a little too crazy out there on the lake for us to uh, do a little wrap up shoot. Rain started coming down real bad. Uh, got kind of nasty, but uh, basically, here's what happened. We got to the lake 6 30 this morning. It was cool, about 44 degrees. Didn't warm up much all day today, maybe 51 tops. Water temperature stayed 62 all day long. It was overcast, drizzling on and off. Like I said, it got a little bit worse towards the end of the day. Uh, visibility was about one foot. The water was pretty dirty. Uh, we fished June bug lizards all day long. More about that in a little bit. Uh, our main pattern started off this morning. It was more secondary lake points. Uh, the first third of every creek. Uh, we were really catching them on the wind blown side on wood. Uh, towards the middle of the day and on into the afternoon. The pattern changed a little bit. We had to move out to main lake points where there was deep water nearby. Not really sure why. The weather didn't change that much, but the fish sure did. The bite, the bite was not aggressive at all. We're three days post front. You would think that it'd be better, but the temperatures have stayed low. The bite was not very aggressive at all. More, more likely than not, you'd just feel a little weight or you'd feel a tick or see your line move. There was no thump thump. Uh, there was no yanking the rod out of your hand. It was a very subtle bite, uh, but we managed to get on them. We caught 20 fish today, so not bad. Okay, guys, a little bit more about the gear we used to catch almost that 17-pound sack today. Um, like Jeff said earlier, all, all of the fish came on a June bug lizard. Jeff was using a G. Loomis GLX 854. With, um, paired with a Corrado 200 E7, 7 to 1 gear ratio, 17 pound Invisex line. Uh, Jeff was using a 316 tungsten weight with a Zoom Junebug Lizard. I was using a Dobbins. 743 DX Champion Extreme Series paired with a Lose 6.4 to 1 Tournament Pro 12 pound Tatsu. Um, I was using a quarter ounce weight tungsten paired with a Strike King Rage Lizard also in the Junebug color. Um, Texas rig, free floating weight, pretty standard. Um, a little something that we did today, kind of a new product alert that might be coming out from our board of, uh, from one of our board sponsors. We actually Texas rigged our lizards today on an owner deep throat, and let me show you what I'm talking about. We have an owner deep throat 
which many of y'all know that I'm a big fan of the on or deep throwing, especially in my jigs, especially in my shaky heads. And what Mike Siebert has done from Siebert Outdoors is he's put a cool keeper on here to where you can actually Texas rig it. And it worked really well today. Any fish that was stuck was stuck today. We did not lose one single fish. And they were all hooked deep in the throat or through the roof of the mouth. I really like these hooks. So when Siebert lists these on these websites, I don't think they are now, but when they are, snag some up and see if you like them too. So, well guys, that's just about it for this episode of the Jeff Rowe and Needham Show. Um, visit Bass Resource, and the best thing about today is that we upped our donation to, to the Tackle the Storm Foundation. That's a charity both Jeff and myself really feel strongly about. You can find the pin thread in the general section called Challenge open challenge to all fishermen and we hope that you go to that thread and produce your own personal challenge and if you're watching this on youtube come join us at the best best bass resource on the internet which is bassresource.com thanks guys see you out on the water